Do I even have to do this press conference? You get paid for it. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Why are you upset tonight? You guys won the game. I think I know what you're going to say, but why, what's got you a little perturbed about winning this game? I mean, we knew it was going to be nasty, you know, but we didn't understand. Like 25 turnovers is just, you know, it just it's, makes no sense, you know. We got to be better you know, all around the board, just taking care of the basketball. Um, you know, we got to own our space when teams are getting into us. And then we got to have an attack mindset. If they're going to deny the ball and be in passing lanes, that means just driving lanes available. So we just can't play like robots. Like, we got to be aggressive, attack, and making the right play. And, um, you know, a lot of our turnovers just, you know, our guys just coming off just throwing the ball to James, throwing the ball to James. Like, they can make plays. Like, we have good players that can make plays, especially in the open court. So, um, we just got to be better, you know, all around the board. We knew today was going to be, you know, a bar fight. You know, they played great defense, and, you know, Moe's kind of said it to me, like you said, we both play the same exact way, <laughs> just scrappy defense, play hard, and compete. But I was very happy um, and excited about our defense tonight. I thought we did a good job um, of really paying attention to detail, um, understanding what we wanted to take away, and our guys did a good job with that. But offensively, we just got to we gotta be better. You know, you shoot 49% from the field, and, 50% from three, then you have 25 turnovers, you know, so we got to be better. Coach, just how unique is it for you, you know, just to see your team to turn the ball over like they do, but still can come out and win a game by, you know, 10 plus points? I mean, yeah, I mean, to win the game is great, but we got to get better. You know, we can't continue to keep coming and talking about the same thing every single night. Um, we're taking care of the basketball, turning the ball over, and uh, we just can't do it, you know, especially – you know, with our margin for error being so slim and, you know, with guys being out, like, we got to just make sure we, you know, respect the basketball, take care of the basketball, and getting shots on goal. Coach, um, I want to ask you about Chris Dunn individually. He's been solid all year for you guys defensively, but he, tonight it seemed like he was so disruptive on the ball, getting his hands on deflections, steals. Do you see first or second team all defense for him in his future? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, he guards every position. I mean, to guard, you know, Franz at the three, you know, tonight, and then guard a step the other night. And, you know, so just, um, I mean, he can guard multiple positions and does a great job of doing it. Like, he really takes guys out of the game. Um, he's 6'3", but he's physical. You know, he can guard the post up, gets through DHOs, can guard pick and rolls, one-on-one. -on -one. And then he's also a great help defender. You know, he can help go for steals and deflections and still close out and get back out to, you know, shooters. So, um, he definitely deserves that. And we brought him here this year. That's all he talked about is wanting to be on one of those teams. So, uh, even though the game wasn't entirely close at the end, you guys have been playing these gritty, tough, physical games, and you did it again tonight. Do, do you think the team has grown comfortable in this setting to where you know, they're, they're not panicking at the end of games or they're not getting lost, uh, so to speak, you know, when, as the game gets physical and they're getting pressure into them as much? I mean, I think we're getting used to playing that style of basketball. Um, you know, but I thought it was from day one, just at camp, just knowing we want to be a defensive-minded team um, every single night and make make it hard to play against us. And that's, that was our mindset coming into training camp. And so, um, you know, tonight wasn't any different. But I think we have shown, like, who we are, you know. Um, we're going to compete. We're going to do whatever it takes to win games. And, you know, every night could be somebody else's night, you know. And I thought, you know, tonight Amir was really good. Again, you know, especially in that first half, knocking down shots. And so, you know, we got to play that way, um, get into the paint, making the right play. But, you know, we got to make sure that we're taking care of the basketball is my biggest concern. Yeah, I mean, we know Jordan's a good talent, and he really hasn't had a chance to have consistent minutes. Um, in a regular rotation. So um, I thought tonight did a good job, competed defensively. Um, he's going to be at pick and choose his spots offensively. Um, but, you know, I thought overall he was pretty good. He was solid, you know, and so hopefully he can um, continue to grow from this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Amir. I'm back. Um, can you start by telling us what Norm has meant to this team so far this season and then what it was like to go about filling that void tonight? Uh, Norm's meant a lot to us. Uh, he's, been, he's been playing outstanding for us. 
um, start of the season. Uh, I feel like he stepped into a big role. Um, and he, he's been great. Um, so, you know, just had to make some adjustments without him. Um, and yeah. I know it's not your first start, but your first start of this season, how did it mm -hmm. feel to recalibrate where your minutes were coming from? Uh, it felt good. Um, you know, I try not to get into, to, um, you know, minute minute wise coming off the bench and starting. Uh, I just try to do my job when my name is called. So, um, you know, I got it going early tonight, and, um, and, and you know, it worked out. Hey, Amir, you know, you guys turn the ball over 24 times, but still find a way to win by 10 plus points. Just talk about you guys' defensive effort, and what what makes you guys so special defensively? Um. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of flying around, um, you know, a lot of guys making up for each other. Um, you know, I feel like we're just um, playing together on defense together. Um, you know, it's going to be mistakes, but when you got your teammates behind you, um, you know, fending for you, it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, and yeah, like I said, just, just flying around, having your teammates back. Um, you know, everybody knows what we're looking for, what we're trying to do, um, and it's been translating for us. What is your favorite? time place to, to shoot like it, it just feels like your shot right now um it doesn't matter when it's coming off as a motion in the corner like you just look like you're shooting the ball incredibly well like, when are you more comfortable um letting it fly uh whenever um you know just shooting the ball when i'm open um and really just i mean we we got different actions um you know i kind of trying to find the right space in um you know, be at, be at where my teammates can find me, um, shooting up the shots, um, you know, just playing within the, the flow of the offense. And, um, you know, T-Boo gives everybody the green light to be aggressive, so it kind of just makes it easier for everybody. Um, you know, everybody's looking for the shot, everybody's being aggressive. Um, you know, t tonight is my night. Um, next game, it could be somebody else's. Do you feel like, just, just to follow up, do you feel like shots are about to <coughs> wide open with this year's team? As they've always been for you, like even playing with, when you was playing with Kawhi and Paul. Um, I mean, I won't say that. Um, you know, we have a a player in James that um, you know creates a lot for himself and for others. Um, demands doubles and blitzes, so um, it kind of opens it up for everybody. So just playing off of him um, kind of makes it easier for everybody the, the way they guard. Uh, sometimes they send two, sometimes they blitz them. So, like I said, just being in the right spots, um, knowing where the ball's going to end up, knowing where the ball's going to be, um, and and just shooting over shots. Hey, Kessel. What's up, Kessel? <laughs> um, obviously, we've seen the unseen hours. I remember, you know, visiting you in Minnesota when we were younger, to you playing in the G to now. Can you talk a little bit about your journey and what that means to you? Oh, um, it, means, it means a lot. It means everything. Um, you know, it's it's everybody has their own journey. Uh, mine mine was a little different. I started on a two way for three years, and that was a grind. You know the G League grind, like it's it's a it's a lot. So, um, just getting over that hump, um, and getting to this point I'm in now, it, it means a lot. Um, you know the like you said, the unseen hours is thousands of them. Um, just working on your game every day, trying to get better every summer, um, and to end up in a position like this is is um, you know it's a blessing. Kind of follow up. What's some advice that you would give to guys on a two way? Because that's a lot of work. You yeah. Know, you go up and down all the time. How do you stay strong and continue to do that? Uh, I mean, it's 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 no it's no secret to it. It's just work, man. Like, um, the G League, the G League schedule is tough. Um, being on the two way is tough. Um, I feel like a lot of that has to do with um your mentality. Um, you know, not not getting too too down on yourself, um, going to the G B coming back up. So just uh yeah, it's just it's just work. Just continue to work, um, stay confident. Um and when your name is called just produce and uh you know hopefully hopefully that chance will come up and, and when it does you gotta take advantage of it. Amir, I want to ask about Coach Van Gundy. Mm -hmm. Coach Ty talks about how thorough he is with his details with you guys defensively. Sometimes he doesn't go home at night. Yeah. So what 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 do you say he's meant to you guys defensively as far as you guys communication on and off the floor? Yeah, he uh Van Gundy's a character. Um but now he, he gets us going. Um like I said earlier in this interview, like he, he like we're flying around, I saw him. Um, you know, the the tactics and the and the schemes that he gives us, um, I feel like it's it's helped us a lot. Um, you know, our defense has been
good for us. Like I, I think it's tough to score on us in the, in the half court, um, and that's that's about you know Van Gundy. Um, so he's a uh, you know he's 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 a person that gets after it every day. Um, you know I believe sometimes he don't go home like that one surprised me, but but no uh, Van Gundy's been great for us. I mean, tonight was another physical, gritty type of game for you guys. Um, obviously, it wasn't close down to the wire like some of your past games have been. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like you guys have grown more and more comfortable as the season's gone along in these type of games where it is so physical? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, it's, it's only going to get more physical as the season goes on. So, um, you know, playing play games like this is good for us. Um, we had – damn. So, Okay. <laughs> so we turned the ball over a lot, um, so that's something that we gotta <laughs> that we gotta cut down on. But um, you know, just winning games like this, it, it's important. Um, you know, some games is damn. Yeah, twenty five. That's what your coach said too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Twenty five turnovers. That's insane. But. Um, you gotta win games like this. Um, some games you gonna have to grit it out, um, you know, through turnovers, through missed shots, whatever the case may be. Um, and uh, you know, they're, they're a gritty team. Like they like to. I think they're number one in uh, in defense too. So yeah. Um, so their defense is good. You know, they try to speed you up, uh, get in passing lanes and things like that. So um, we definitely gotta be better with that turnover ratio. But um, like I said, just winning games like this is, is definitely important, especially as the season goes on, because. I'm sure this is the last game that uh, you know we'll rack up some turnovers. So, still coming out on top is is important. I mean, not to focus too much on that, but this is like probably like the fifth or sixth time that he's coming to a post game press conference. Kind of really upset mm -hmm. because of the turnover battle. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it you guys can do better outside? Just is it just taking care of the ball? Are you guys doing? It's just just things? just taking care of the ball. Um, I feel like a lot of our turnovers tonight were um, on us. Like you 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 have a. Uh, some turnovers that's being aggressive, and you know you can live with those. But some of the silly ones you got to cut out. Um, and I feel like I feel like a couple of those were you know silly turnovers. Uh, I had a couple. Uh, you know everybody everybody had a couple. So um, you know when you're when you turn the ball over, trying to make a play, trying to be aggressive, like those are the ones that the coaching staff can live with, or you know your teammates can live with. But like just cutting out the ones that you can get rid of. Um, and I'm sure that would have been like maybe five or six, just cutting it down, just like that. Um, but yeah, that's. We definitely gotta gotta cut that one down. So in the flow of the game, given by your reaction, you genuinely don't know you have that many turnovers. No, I, I mean I knew I knew we had a, a lot. I didn't know it was that much, <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, just just uh, just cutting down on those. Um, that's something we could do. Um, yeah. Uh, Alex, you know, getting, uh, eight points, uh, tonight. Yeah, um, during uh, like the shoot around, uh, they had me uh, in the second unit, but you know, I didn't know whether or not I was going to play or not, but just being ready, I uh, didn't know when I was going to get in, but I didn't know when I was going to get in, but again, you know, just trying to be ready. Uh, I saw, you know, saw the things that the team wasn't doing particularly well. We had a lot of turnovers tonight, so I just tried to, you know, play smart, uh, be solid, especially defensively, and offensively, just do what I do, you know what I'm saying, and not disrupt the offense. Jordan, just how tough is it to go from, you know, with San Diego, you're the guy, getting, you know, making all the plays, have the ball in your hands, to now, you know, you come to uh, the, the big team and it's like you have to adjust with maybe not as many touches and not as many shots. How hard is that? Uh, I, w I wouldn't say it's hard. I mean, like, realistically, right, everyone, myself and everyone else in San Diego and Ontario, we all kind of know what the vibe is going to be when you get pulled up to the big team, you know what I mean? But it's just working on your fundamentals and the things that can translate, which is always defensively can translate, rebounding, making open shots. Um, so I wouldn't say it's been difficult. It's just more so, you know, trying to figure out where you fit in. How did you make of Amir's game today? Oh, he had a hell of a game. Uh, I'm just glad he's shooting it with confidence. Um, you know, he puts a lot of work in, so. You? He puts a lot of work in, and so I, I'm glad, you know, it's, it's finally showing. Uh, and, and it shows how good of a player he is. I hope he keeps shooting the ball, too. Miss or make, air ball, backboard, I don't care. I hope he just keeps shooting. How would you define uh, player development? Uh, can you elaborate a little bit? 
in terms of you're drafted and a team needs you to, you know, you obviously showed enough skills to get drafted, but you need to show more in order to be a rotation player in the, in the NBA. What's been your experience? What's your understanding of what that means to you uh, from the time that you joined this organization to, you know, getting your first um, real minutes tonight? Yeah, the G League really helped a lot. Um, last year going into it, I knew I was going to spend a lot of time. I didn't know how impactful it was going to be for me. Uh, it allowed me to just kind of get back to playing the wing again because in college I was, you know, um, at the four spot. But playing the wing and just gained a lot of confidence in my game. Uh, kind of got to experiment trial and error a little bit. Um, and then this summer, honestly, just staying in the gym and then the older guys and vets coming to play with us, you know, just, just trying to build more confidence in, in my game. And so I feel like the development here has been very good. Our coaching staff does a good job of, you know, getting guys ready and stuff like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if you don't put your training to to work, then what's the point of your training? So I just try to uh, be confident every night and, and just do what I do. Amir Coffey, Clipper Radio. How did it feel packing the rotation today? What was your mindset going into the game? It felt good. Um, you know, I had some teammates get really hot tonight. Uh, you know, we just trying to get him the ball. Um, you know, he's very inspirational. Uh, I, and each time I see him play, it makes me want to play harder. You told us last week about how Norm has been for you, sort of as, as a mentor and a voice. How is he tonight as like a player coach? Yeah, I mean, I look up and I see him in the in the walls banging on the drums. So I was like, oh, there goes Norm. Um, <laughs> But no, on a serious note, you know, even tonight, you know, he was talking to me before I got in and just trying to give me words of wisdom. Even each time out, he was, you know, trying to tell me a little something, something. Um, again, Norm's impact on this team has been greater than him just scoring the ball. Uh, you can tell his voice is more heard. He sang a lot more during um, timeouts, whether it's practice, you name it. Um, and, I, and I think uh, the biggest thing we all can attest, maybe not you guys, but we've seen him put a lot of work in and he's a really good leader by example. Um, and so I think that's the biggest thing that may, uh, what everybody may not see. But um, yeah, again, you know, he's been phenomenal on the court this year, but I think as a leader, he's definitely stepped up.